What is going on YouTube? This is yours truly, Anton Ray, coming at you guys with another video. Uh, before we go in, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Um, I have been motivated to do this video because there's been a lot of disrespect regarding uh, the pump shotgun, a lot of false information being disseminated, uh, people saying that you're not adequately armed if you have a shotgun, which is hyperbole and just a lack of knowledge, basically. So let's go in on a few of the reasons why I like the pump shotgun so much. Uh, first and foremost, uh, they are relatively inexpensive, less expensive than your average pistol, rifle, and they're less expensive than their semi-auto cousins. Now, I can go right down to Academy right now and get a Maverick 88 uh, for $199. And that would be a gun that I can hunt with, put food on the table, and protect my estate. And it would probably last me um, for the rest of my life. I would probably be able to pass it down to my grandkids. So inex inex inexpensive is going to be one of the reasons why I like a sh pump shotgun so much. Um, I like ammo selection. Um, you don't have to worry about ammo selection when you have a pump shotgun. They will eat anything from bird shot, buckshot, to slugs, unlike uh, some of their semi-auto semi cousins, which uh, have problems with uh, low brass. But that is not an issue with a pump shotgun, so the reliability is going to be one of the things that make a pump shotgun attractive. And I also like a pump anyway. It's intuitive. I... Um, you know, believe in myself uh, more than I believe in an inertia system. So I'd rather be the one that actually controls the action versus uh, a gas system or anything like that is concerned. And it's kind of like driving a manual uh, vehicle, you know, like a five speed versus driving an automatic. So it's very, very intuitive. So I enjoy the pump. Um, this is a great um, home defense weapon. It's not going to be the best for everyone, but definitely the best for me. Um, stopping power is going to be the real, real big reason why I love uh, shotguns in general because uh, the standard load for home defense, most people use double lock buckshot, and that's going to be right at nine pellets, uh, 33 cal, about you know the same as a 380, and about nine of those at you know at the same time, you're going to be looking at over 2,000 foot pounds of energy being dumped into you. That's if you get the standard buckshot that's right around 1,300 feet per second. Uh, but it doesn't matter if they are wearing uh, bulletproof vests. If they're wearing bulletproof vests, it may not penetrate, but if it does not penetrate, it is going to destroy what's behind it because all that kinetic energy being dumped into the actual target. And I've heard people say, well, what if there are uh, eight people? I'm like, uh, if there are eight people, once the first person get their uh, brains blown off, um, they are probably going to run. You know, that's usually what they do. Uh, most home defense situations have, you know, three shots at best. If you have, you know, multiple intruders, nine people coming to your house, then maybe you're dealing drugs or doing some other kind of stuff. But um, when you shoot um, an intruder, um, their partners are not going to stick around uh, to find out, <laughs> you know, to get some of this. They don't want any of this, trust me. Uh, they might, you know, run and shoot over their neck, like, you know, the incident when the guy, the fire um, chief in Chicago, uh, he was killed, um, but they ran off as soon as he started shooting. Unfortunately, the guy was running and shot over his neck. You know, that, you know, can happen to anyone, but I like it because it's one stop stopping power. 90% of the time when a person is shot with double lock buckshot or any type of uh, strong load for a shotgun, they are going to stop with one shot. That is the biggest reason. Um, that I like uh, shotguns over other platforms for home defense. I want the intruder to stop what they're doing right away. That is the main reason. Um, modularity, um, they're very modular. Um, I can put mag, pull furniture, both stock and four in here. Um, I can change my sights out. I can change barrels. I can change chokes. There's just so much you can do to a shotgun. So they're very modular. But don't ever let anyone tell you that a pump shotgun with seven to eight rounds, even six rounds, is not adequate to defend your home. Um, those people that say that are watching too many movies or they have the wrong impression of what home defense is. Because, again, 
most home defense situations, you know, in, in three shots or less. Okay. And even if, you know, it were to go further, um, there are so many drills that you can do with a uh, fighting shotgun. You can quad load it, double load it. You can also have, you know, an extra side saddle here. And this one right here has the speed stop, but I doubt, doubt if I would ever get to that point. And another thing I want to point out as well, too, is that the wound channel is going to be significantly larger than what you can do with a rifle or a pistol. Um, the wound channel on a shotgun is going to be about the size of a golf ball, you know, a little bit, you know, sometimes bigger than my fist. And, you know, the wound channel on a rifle is going to be about the size of my fingertip or smaller. Um, so I like the probability of me being able to hit. And that's another thing I like. You don't have to be as accurate and you have more margin for error to hit your target. But it's going to be a larger wound channel, which in turn is going to cause more bleeding and more terminal energy is going to be dumped there, which is going to stop the intruder quicker. Now, I know it's, you know, follow up shots are not as easy as a rifle because there's more recoil. But if you practice, you can mitigate it. Um, I'm not saying that a rifle is not a good defensive uh, tool, and that's really not what it's about. This is about the shotgun because I've just heard a lot of false information. A guy on Facebook was calling me a FUD because I prefer a shotgun for home defense over an AR-15. Um, you know, that's just my preference. You know, you use what's best for you, and um, shotgun is going to definitely be best for me for several reasons. But that is pretty much all I have, because I know I can get to rambling about this for hours and hours and hours about it. But don't ever let anyone tell you that a shotgun, a standard pump shotgun, is not adequate enough for home defense. Uh, people that are disseminated that information, they do not have uh, proper knowledge of ballistics, and they have no knowledge of how to run a, a fighting shotgun, period. But that is pretty much all I have. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Like always, the Second Amendment shall not be infringed. We will catch you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day.